Alright guys, in this lecture we're going to set up the actual project structure. Now during this course you're going to create a small personal website where you can present yourself and present your work or projects and use that as our sample project to discover all the powerful features that SAS offers us. And all the files you need for this are in a zip archive in the lecture materials. So you can just download that, unpack it in a folder of your choice, and then you're going to have all the files you need for this project. So let's first go ahead and look at our project structure. Once you have unpacked your archive and you have that folder created, you can go ahead in Sublime Text, go to File, Open Folder, and then just open that folder you have there. And that's going to open up a new window where you have your project opened. And once you have that done, you can press Ctrl KB and that's going to open up this sidebar for you where you should see your project folder and then also the CSS folder and our SCSS folder. Now in this SCSS folder we have our main.scss where we're going to write our SCSS code and we also have four static HTML pages. So for the purposes of this course we're just going to create a very simple static website because what we actually care about is this SCSS file where we can write our SCSS code and try out all the cool features it offers us. Now if you take a look at one of the HTML files, you're just going to find a very simple HTML5 website with just the main menu, some content and a sidebar. So just a very common site blueprint as you probably know it. And in our SCSS file right here, we have all the main selectors already in there which looks a lot like CSS. But in some cases we have these nested selectors which are not CSS code anymore, but we can do that in SCSS. And we can use this blueprint to add our actual SCSS code later. So now all that's left to do is to set up our SAS build plugin in a way that it compiles our CSS code into this CSS directory here. Because with the normal build system it would just generate the CSS file right inside the same folder, so in our SCSS folder. So we're going to have to configure it to work with our project structure. And we can do that by going to tools up here and then to build system. And then you're going to hit new build system right here. And I'm going to upload the code you need for this file into the lecture materials. But I'm just going to quickly show you what that looks like. And I'll call it build to CSS directory. So it's just going to tell it to call the CES command and then write our CSS file to the parent directory and then go down to the CSS directory. Which means that from our SCSS directory here, it goes up one level and then it goes into the CSS folder and generates our file there. And it also needs some configuration to work with the command lines in OS X and in Windows. So I recommend you just download this code from the lecture materials and then you can just paste them in here, save this as your build. You can also call it build to CSS directory if you want. And then when you go back to your main CSS file, you can again go to tools, build system, and then select your build system right here. So now when we click control B, it's going to use that build system we just defined. And you can see down here that it wrote our file to CSS, which is our project directory, as CSS, then went up one level into the CSS directory and created our file there. So now we have our main CSS here and not in our SCSS folder as you can see. Alright, good. So we have our build system set up and now we can just modify this SCSS file here, click Ctrl B to generate our CSS file and then look at the result in our browser. Now we can also quickly take a look at what this site looks like at the moment. And as you could guess, this is not a very beautiful website at the moment because, well, we didn't define any design yet. So it's just a plain HTML site at the moment without much design going on. And of course, we're going to create that design while we look at all the features of SAS and build up our style sheet along the way. So let's go back to Sublime Text. So now we're actually good to go, but we can go one step further because if we're honest, we're pretty lazy, so we don't want to actually invoke the build every time we make a change to our SCSS file. So wouldn't it be great if we could just hit save and then Sublime Text would build our SCSS file automatically? Well, there's actually a plugin for that. So let's go ahead one more time, hit Control shift p and then install package. And then we're gonna type in sublime on save build. 
hit enter and that's going to go ahead and install this plugin that well does exactly what its name says so it's going to always invoke the build whenever we hit save all right so now we have that installed and once we hit save on this you can see at the bottom that it invokes our build and then writes our css file so now there's no way we can forget to actually invoke the build and then wonder why our design is not showing on the website and that's really convenient and sometimes can even save you a lot of time all right, so now we have so many things that are going to increase our productivity. We have Sublime Text installed with this Emmet plugin. We have Sess installed. We have our build system set up that's going to build every time we hit save. And now we can really start writing our CSS code and try out all of its cool features. So I hope you can't wait to dive into some real SCSS code. And I can't wait to show you all the cool features that SCSS puts on top of CSS. So I hope to see you in the next lecture.